Let's begin our discussion of direct lighting by an introduction to the daylight system. The daylight system is used to light exterior scenes or interior scenes that are illuminated by daylight, as the name would imply. There's quite a bit going on in this daylight system. There's a direct light as part of the system. We've talked about direct light as being a light that comes directly from a light source and traveling to a surface. Direct light is certainly a part of this system, but in this case, the direct light we're referring to is a type of light. It's a light that casts light rays that are parallel from a circular source. This light is a component of the daylight system. Another component is skylight. To envision what skylight does, and imagine you walk outside before the sun comes up over the horizon. You can still see clearly that there's light that allows you to see where you're going and what's going on. That's because part of the natural daylight is light that is reflected and scattered by the atmosphere from dust and water vapor coming from the sun that's below the horizon. Another component that isn't part of the light directly is a positioning control for the sunlight. This is the compass. This object allows us to determine the position of the sun based on the time of day, the date, and the location on Earth. Now, there are other activities that occur because of the fact that we've placed the daylight system in our scene. One of them is the inclusion of a physical sky map in the environment. This is a texture that gets placed in the background of our scene and generates the illusion of a physically accurate sky background. This can simulate a blue sky and a hazy sky. For example, if it's early in the morning and the sun is just coming up, you'd have a pinkish horizon. That is a component of the physical sky that gets created automatically when you place a daylight system in your scene. Another important component that gets activated when you use the daylight system is the photographic exposure control. Think of it as photography, where you're actually taking a photograph inside of 3ds Max. If you're taking the photographs in bright daylight, you need to adjust your exposure and your shutter speed so that you have properly exposed rendered images. You have to close the iris of your camera to reduce the amount of light that's striking the film plane. You're doing the same thing here. You're controlling the amount of light that the mental ray rendering engine is exposing to the camera. That's all done with photographic exposure control. All of this is part of the daylight system in 3ds Max that we will use in our exterior scene. 